Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. This is lesson 16 of our Python for Data Science course. In this lesson, we're going to be covering list comprehensions. If you liked Lambda, that lesson was kind of cool, a little more difficult, a little of a challenge. This is like that. I, I think list comprehensions are a little easier to understand, but they're also it's very Pythonic. We're going to take what would be a complicated, you know, multi-line thing. We're going to put it into a neat little one-line, you know, one code. As with all my lessons, uh, I have a full write-up on my website, analyticsforall.org. Uh, you can check it out. I hope you've installed Anaconda. You can use the Jupyter Notebooks like I'm using. If not, if you're on a phone, you're on a you know, a tablet, you're on a work computer, anything that won't allow you to install, I have, if you check my, my website, you go down and look for the blue arrows. It'll bring you over to a testing shell, which you can run this stuff in. But uh, I really think it's better if you install Anaconda because it, it gives you more functionality. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's pop over to this and let's get started. All right. Let me reset this. If you ever need to reset, and Council will be showing you. If you look up here under Cell, All Output, and Clear, you can reset your, your, your notebook again. So in case you want to know that, that's where that sits. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this for loop I've got. So I've got n no, 0. Actually, I don't need this in there. I don't know why that was there, so let's go ahead and get rid of it. Must have been something earlier I was doing. But we're going to instantiate a list here. We're going to say, you know, and when you want to start a list that you don't have yet, it's just equals and then square brackets. And that right way Python now knows s is the list. So we're going to loop here. We're going to say for x in range 10 I want you to append to the list x squared. So this is the two of the two asterisks is squared. It, it's to x to the power of. You know, if I had three, it would be x to the power of three. You know, x cubed. All right, and then go ahead and just show me what the s looks like. Okay, so we'll run through this, and as you can see, it did. Remember, Python starts at zero. Always keep in mind we don't start at one. So and we go, we don't go make it the range it says to ten. That's going to end at nine because we start at zero. So 0, 1, 4, so three, 2 is squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 16. So you got what we did there? All right. So I'm going to show you a cleaner, more Pythonic way to do it. This right here is called a list comprehension. It's a single line. So I say in this one, S equals, and then for a list comprehension, because it's a list, you want to put it in the list function there, so you got the square there, around there. I say X squared 4x in range 10. So basically you got, this is the same. It's just now instead of having it below there, I'm just saying to put it here and to append it all as a list. So I want my output to be a list. With a list comprehension, your output's always going to be a list because it's, hey, it's in the name. So go ahead. So very simple. So remember, this part is your for loop up here. This part is what you want it to do. And because it's a list comprehension, I don't need to have this s append because it knows I want you to append it to a list. And I don't have to instantiate it as a list, so you know. And just so you see here, you know, I've got lowercase of uppercase, but if you want to make sure I'm not messing with your help, I'll make them L's. So this does work, and we'll go ahead and we'll run it, and that's what we've got. It knows this exact same thing, but we did it with that one nice little line. Okay. Now let's try another one right here. Let's go ahead try list comprehension where we're going to convert this list of kilometers into miles. Okay, so I got a list I made of kilometers. I got one, two, three, four values. So and here's my list comprehension. I say miles. Now notice I didn't instantiate miles of the list, but I made it a list by putting it in the wrapper here. So miles, now let's read this the right way. I know it's kind of fun, starts this way, but really you want to start reading it here because how it works. 4x in kilometers, so I'm going to say for each one of these in kilometers to step through them, I want you to multiply the value by 0 0.621371 and divide that by 10. Make sure you put the zero in front. If you just put a point, it's going to fail. Python needs to have that zero in front to know you're actually looking at a float number here. And then print miles. So there you go. Now we've converted kilometers to miles, and we did it in one line here, you know, and very Python. Let's see. I'm just going 
going to try to get some space so I can scroll this up for you. And finally, let's create a function. I got a function here I created. I can run a function in there. So let's create a, I created a function called dub. It takes in one variable and it returns that variable times two. So I'm going to do another list comprehension. Here we go, list. Remember, that's next. Let's start here. What are we saying? We're saying for y in range 10. So just like up here, I want you for every value of y in range 10, I want you to send that to my function dub and return that as a list. So there you go. All right. So that's list comprehensions. Uh, I use them a lot. They're nice and clean. You're going to see these. These are uh, you, you probably even see this more than you'll see lambdas when you're looking at somebody else's Python programs because I, I think these are, make more sense and they're easier to read than lambdas. But always remember to kind of read them backwards. So when you go in there, you can spot it. You can see more than you know it's a list comprehension because it's wrapped in a list, list bracket. So you know the output's going to be a list. Start with the for loop and then go ahead and look back at what you're doing there with the function. All right. Again, thank you for joining me. This is Ben Larson here at analyticsforall.org. Uh, check out my website, please. If you like this video, click the like button, hit subscribe. Go ahead, leave me a message below, and I'll look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much.